Oh, this is a great game to be involved in. Uh, you know, we've, we've played them there and we've played them at home. Uh, and they've, they've been exciting. Uh, the, the two over there went right down to the wire. Uh, we lost the first one in 17 and then, and then one in 19, uh, which, was a, which was a great come from behind win. Uh, and it's a great week to be involved in. It's the best rivalry there is. I've, I've been in a lot of great rivalries at all different levels of football. And, and this is uh, the most intense. Uh, and and the, game is, the game is different than most Patriot League games. Uh, because there's just added emotion, uh, there's more urgency, there's more intensity. Uh, in a lot of ways, in the Lafayette Lehigh community, it's bigger than a championship game because when, when these guys graduate and they're out 5, 10, 15, 20 years and somebody meets them and they find out that they played football at Lafayette, the first question they ask is, how'd you do versus Lehigh? They don't ask you about whether you won the championship or not. So it means a lot to a lot of people, and it's great to be part of. No matter what the records is, like, when y'all go out there and play each other, you know, each team's going to show their best self. So, like, at the end of the day, you just got to go out there and uh, just show, and show what makes you great and just go be great and just go make plays. Like, although it's not all about making plays, like, at the end of the day, like, you just got to be a playmaker and just go make plays. Just crazy. And the biggest thing I think that you have to, you have to come to realize is that you, you can't get caught up in the emotions because it's the rivalry and like crazy stuff does happen. I mean, we look back a couple years ago, the first play was a, a strip sack for a touchdown on the very first play. So like stuff like that's going to happen. And it goes both ways. Like one play, it's going to be us. One play, it's going to be them. So I think the biggest thing is making sure that, you know, don't pay attention to the scoreboard. Just focus on what you're doing each play and uh, just be ready to go because stuff's going to happen. But uh, the team that, you know, eliminates that the most and focuses in on the game is going to win? Well, we just look at it from a planning standpoint about how we can win the game. Uh, and that changes every week depending on who you play. Uh, so uh, I think it's coincidental that there's similar stats. Uh, and, you know, they, they're an interesting team because coming off of that bye week and they played Fordham, it looks like they got a lot of their frontline players back. Uh, so when you have more of those frontline players, you, you just play better and you execute at a, at a higher level. Uh, it's just natural. Uh, and so uh, give credit to them because they've been able to move the ball and score points much better than they had in, in the uh, earlier part of the season. And they always play good defense. They've always played good defense and they've played good defense against everyone. Uh, so it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, and, you know, the things that we we look at with regard to, to Lehigh is they have a, an excellent front seven uh, and they have a pressure package that is you have to, you have to deal with and you have to uh, take care of. Um, and, and we've done a pretty good job with that, uh, uh, particularly at the end of the game in the second half of the, of the 19 game and, and, uh, and also in the, in the spring when we played them. Uh, and then offensively, they they have talent. They have two good running backs. They got a big, strong offensive line. Uh, they got a, a a tight end when he's healthy. That is 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 a factor. And they got big, athletic receivers. Uh, so it's going to be a challenge. And uh, it always comes down to what happens to the ball and how you respond to the the adversity and the success of the game. Yeah, playing them in the spring, um, it was different, especially with COVID. Not too many people were allowed in the side of the stadium, so the energy was a little different. But um, we're excited to come back, especially with uh, it's probably going to be a sold-out game. The energy is going to be there. Like people said already, the emotion is going to be there. So um, you just got to make plays and show out. Um, uh, I don't really think we have a real preference. It would be nice if it was at home, but we like uh, beating them there too, so it doesn't really matter to us. It's the pinnacle of the past for me and for all, or all of us except Malik, it's the pinnacle of the past five years. You know, like we walk in here and 2017 was our first season and uh, we're still here. You know, we're still fighting and we're still um, here to really compete and uh, compete at the highest level, right? Like everybody said about, to answer your question about um, what's, it, what's the difference, right? It's the energy, right? We come in here and nothing needs to be said and the energy is already there. There's, that's uh, a given. Right. So it's really just feeding off that energy and really just um, playing our best game. And then, like you said, it's it's the it's the everything has come to this moment for me and for a lot of guys who like I'm done after this year. Um, so it's really just 
put it all out there. You know, there's nothing left after this, so you know you might as well empty the tank now. There's no, uh, there's no holding on to anything after this. So, oh, it, it certainly has. Uh, these guys are. When you go through the recruiting process and you you bring them in and they show up on campus as a freshman and then you see them develop throughout the years and see the the different stages that they're able to achieve, you know, getting on the field and then becoming a regular and then becoming an impact player and and all that. It's 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 like uh, the same feeling you have uh, with a, a father and their children um, because you. You're rooting for them so hard. And you're there when they have setbacks. And you're there to uh, congratulate them, but also uh, there to put your arm around them when they face adversity. So, uh, and these guys are the epitome, particularly these guys, these, these captains are the epitome of, of the perseverance and the passion and emotion and enthusiasm that we always talk about and that, and that energy and the effort and the execution, the three E's that we always talk about. And, and these guys have, have embodied that. Uh, and they have uh, echoed our messages to the team, uh, not only verbally, but with their play and how they've done it. Um, so this is, this is a, a great group. Um, and uh, I know this, that these seniors are going to lead a, uh, an effort and an energy and a commitment and an execution that uh, is going to be the greatest that they've ever uh, had an opportunity to, to provide. So we're, we're looking forward to Saturday. It's going to be a, a, a special experience. It really is.